Hello, I'm Carson from the Aquatics Department at Foothills Park and Recreation District. Welcome to episode four of our Water Safety Series, where we are continuing our mission to educate our community on the importance and how to staying safe in and around the water. Accidents can happen in any body of water. It will be tempting to help someone that you see is in trouble. But remember that no matter how much bigger or how much stronger you are than the person who needs help, you are not a trained lifeguard. Someone who is having trouble swimming is going to be very scared, and if you swim over to them, they might grab you, and both of you can be in trouble then. Longfellow and his friends are going to show us the right thing to do when you see someone is having trouble swimming. Do your part, be water smart. Do you know how to help if you see someone who's in trouble in the water? Here's a hint. Don't get too close. Call for help and reach or throw. Don't go. Don't use that. Woo! <laughs> hey kids, the burgers are almost ready. Five more minutes. Jackson, don't get so close to the deep end. Before I get in, I will. I gotta fix my goggles first. Nick, catch this one. Jackson! I have to go help him. No, wait. If he's scared, he could grab me and pull me under the water, too. Then we'd both be in trouble. Longfellow says call for help and find something to reach or throw. Don't go. I'll do that. Mom! Jackson fell in! Jackson! <laughs> grab it! <laughs> Hold on! Jackson, are you all right? She did exactly the Great right job, thing. Lori. She called for help, kept herself safe, and found something nearby to reach out to the person in trouble. Then she told him to grab it and hang on. Good work! You can also throw something that floats to the person in trouble. Grab a hold. Grab the buoy. Then you can pull the person in and still be safe. So, if somebody's in trouble in the water, reach your throat, don't go. Do your part, be water smart.